All right, great. So tonight it's vocals, bass, and and guitar, and it's Divine Dirt, and we're going to perform a song uh, to the best of our ability, Unplugged, and the tune is called Howlin' at the Moon, and you are listening to KSKQ, and that's 89.5 FM Ashland, Oregon, and KSKQ Translator, K231CW, 94.1 FM Medford, Oregon. And I'm going to do as you do when we have live bands on, and I just want to ask you how you, or who wrote, how you thought of this idea for this particular song we're getting ready to hear right now. Thanks, Tracy. Uh, you know, you're asking the wrong guy, because the guy that wrote the music and 99% of the uh, lyrics was David Valley on bass, so Mr. David he, Valley. he doesn't have a mic. If you want to let him share your mic, I'd, I, love, to, I'd love an answer. I absolutely will share my mic with David. Yeah, feel of course free, Dave. I will. So it's a song I actually wrote maybe six or seven years ago. Um, it's very Black Sabbath influenced, and I just knew that uh, Bloody's vocals would be perfect for it. Yeah, kind of he... sounds like uh, Jim Morrison in his L.A. Woman days stumbled into a Black Sabbath jam session, <laughs> and they kind of just jammed it. That's funny. Now that you say that, and I didn't know that, yeah. but now that you say it, I can totally like hear a Sabbath influence. Well, you just know what I mean? Quickly, Dave, one day we write songs together and we write real well together if I, you know, can be humble enough to whatever my opinion. He sent me a song one day and he goes, "You know, I really would like some v- lyrics and vocals that are really scary, like almost horror film kind of thought." So that's what we came up with was Howling at the Moon. Oh wait, that was Skeletons actually. Right. But they're well, both they're both scary. And yeah. I know that you're, you're a big Ryan. you're a big horror film buff, yeah. right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Horror film junkie. Yeah, he, he's a, a great writer, and uh, I'm mixing up my songs now, so we'll just go ahead and get to some music. Again, Skylar Sculio on guitar, David Valley on the bass, and myself on uh, the vocals. And thank you, Sister Tracy. Yes, indeed. For the uh, question. You have divine dirt, you guys. Enjoy on KSKQ and the Church Rock. Thanks for being here. Okay, guys, up to you.
got me proud and under more. It's got me crawling on all fours. <laughs> Shiva on the killing floor. Yeah, Here the wolf paints in bloom, and I'm drowning in gloom. You know I was born for doom. Well, I'm howling at the moon for you. Heck yeah. That was a lot of fun, guys. Yeah, and I know you guys were nervous we because. Took a lot of fun guys. <laughs> yeah. We took a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> You're used to projecting to like a big crowd, and you, it sounded great. And I've got uh, comments here that say the same thing. Oh, really so. good. So people on, on social media are commenting? Yes, absolutely. Wow. Thank you, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you, and so does Dave and Skyler, man. Nancy, way down in Tennessee, uh, said no she, could, she could hear, and it sounded great. So. Hey, Nancy, thanks for tuning in. We're going to continue. We've got another song that's a, a completely different vibe. Uh, this is actually a song that is uh, tongue-in-cheek. Uh, we have noticed that most of the world is addicted to something, whether it's telephones or sex or food or drugs, whatever it might be. And we just uh, thought we'd write a song commenting on the fact that everyone's on drugs. So this is normally a really fast, hardcore punk song, so we're going to do our best with this one. <laughs> yes, and remember, the, like anything can be a drug. We're talking about... Like, you know, yoga, physical fitness, if it overwhelms or interferes, then, you know, tongue in cheek, yeah. people. And my worst addiction is sugar. Sugar. Sugar, man. That's a bad, that's a hard one. Yeah, it's the worst. Yes. But anyway. It's, it's so good, though. <laughs> it is. Hey, Kool-Aid. <laughs> All right, man. I, I guess on four guys, he, who's going to count it off, Davey? <laughs> Never done this on plug. Okay. One, two, three, bam. Yep. Okay, <laughs> One, I'll do two, my best. One, two, three, bam. Okay, we're going to do our best. It's a hardcore punk song done semi-unplugged. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. On four. One, two, three. Looking around and up at the sky. Vibration of weirdness, no reason, no rhyme. Brothers and sisters blink, stare in a shrug. It's kind of profound, everyone's on drugs. Well, everybody is. Everyone's on drugs. Well, everybody is. Everyone's on drugs. Everyone's on drugs, we're all strung out And worried about when we'll run out Standing in line, refilling the script Hollow and empty, our dignity stripped But everybody is Everyone's on drugs Well, everybody is Everyone's on drugs Some will die and some really live This country's more stone than it's ever been Plastered on Facebook, Instagram, tweet High as a kite on the American streets But everybody is Everyone's on drugs Everybody is Everyone's on drugs Good job, dudes. That was fun. It's so weird, but it sounds good to me. It's fun. Yeah, you know, when you guys recorded that in the studio, you had 
Uh, I'm not even sure. What? How many people doing backups on that? Uh, like, um, well, when we recorded that in the studio in Los Angeles at Paul Rossler Studio, we had about 15 people. Most of them people from the like the music world, like yeah, like Rick Agnew from Christian Pop Death. Rock yes, yeah, lots of legends. Casey Royer. Casey Royer from Di and the Adolescents is on there. Oh, uh, Jaton Damone just, yeah. from Christian Death. Uh, just a lot of good friends and 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 people that we look up to. And yay, um, I got to scream on that part too. Yeah, so. you did. Thanks, yeah. Tracy. You actually did vocals tonight too. Thanks for doing backups. It was it was fun. Yay! Yeah. You're appreciated. Oh, yeah. Well, we got one more, guys. We're just having some fun here. And again, we wish our drummer, Jesse, could be here. Um, we do have the hand drum sitting here. It's all lonely by itself. But hey, man, what are you going to do? We can have the dog play drums, I guess. Jet, <laughs> Jet, get on there and play. Well, we've got one more. And we're going to do this song. It's called Skeletons. Um, if you're on YouTube, you can check out our new music video that was directed by filmmaker Nick Zed in Mexico a couple of months ago. We're pretty proud of this video. Uh, again, it's called Skeletons, Divine Dirt. I'd urge you to check it on on YouTube because it's something that we're really proud of. You know, I went and watched that today, as a matter of fact. Did you? Yes, I, I somewhere saw a link and went and and watched it again. And uh, it it is it's like watching a little mini horror movie. <laughs> it's right. really cool. And uh, Nick, you know, uh, I think the vision that he was trying to put forth that you were trying to put forth in the song go well together. He did a great job, and I encourage people to go check out that video. Hey, guys, we just got a message from our friend Ken Day in Australia, and he says, good live performances, guys. Sweet. So that's cool. Thanks, Ken. That's in real time, man. <laughs> so uh, the song is basically metaphorical for uh, the, the actions that we do commit in our past do come back to haunt us. If they're good, they come back in a good way, but if it's bad, we have to pay for that down the road. So this is called Skeletons at the Church of Rock and KSKQ. It's Divine Dirt Unplugged. <laughs> A lifetime within this illusion And now the skeletons are crawling Skeletons are crawling Yeah, they come a-crawling Out of your closet They're getting nearer Skeletons are crawling Skeletons are crawling From the underworld They are a-crawling Skeletons are crawling Yeah, they come a-calling from the underworld they're getting nearer skeletons are crawling yeah they come a calling from the underworld
Divine Dirt, KSKQ, the yes. Church of Rock. Woo.